on this computer. Boom. Recording's in progress. We're recording. This nice. is the what you call it. And uh, <laughs> we're here to whatever it is. Um, and um, uh, hopefully it's uh, going to be a safe place and a lot of fun. And hey, it's, it's just us chickens. <laughs> All right. Uh, and I didn't sign myself up for anything. Uh, but, uh, I, and, and I've got a kind of a tradition to go first, but I, I don't really, I'm not really f necessarily feeling it. I could probably pull one out of my hat. Uh, does anybody feel like going first? Oh boy. And then it's quiet. <laughs> okay. Last time I played a song from a, a, a video game that never came out. And it was, uh, it was my sort of quintet. It was my answer to, we don't talk about Bruno, only not an answer to it because I did it many, many years before that. Um, the game was called, uh, so I wrote about five songs for that one, for that, for that game. The game was called uh, Zippity. And there are these characters in Zippity, that and you you hear them all kind of uh, in in that in, in that quintet. Boy, I'm just talking a lot. Which song do I want to do? I want to. Here's just the theme song from Zippity. Um, let me just make sure that you guys can hear original sound on. Can you hear that? Okay, that's not what I'm going to play. Although, that's a good one. Okay, this one's about Gigabyte. I, I will do that. No, I'm going to do the theme song. It's short. I'm, I'll do both. This explains what the game's about. I wanted to do like a Gilligan's Island thing where you hear the opening and you know what it is. In the center of the net, there's a stream that isn't wet, and it's glowing because it's flowing with good data. From the plugins that were placed by the sisters who were chased by the Zongman Sword and Zong the Zipster Hater. But they always save their friends, and it's happy when it ends, because the cyber guides watch over them with radar. And it happens as I reckon about a zillion times a second to the music of the happy Zogligator. Okay, that's over. Now. <laughs> So you get it, there's a bunch of characters and they do things. And this is about Gigabyte, who's the big strong one. Um, and I tried to work some some meaningful stuff into it. He's, he's, he did, so I did a, a specific song for that one character. Uh, he's, he, but he's, he's, he's this big, but he's the biggest of them all. And he, he's a cyber guide. He, he watches over the kids and makes sure that they stay in the good data and stay away from the bad data.
here at all right <laughs> thanks nice george sounded great yeah thanks, that was man. good i like that. I, I just realized i haven't listened to that thing in 20 years <laughs> who was the singer on there the woman um her name is uh joe beth um i want to say uh, joe beth williams oh uh, i forgot her last name i'll i'll i'll, I'll link to her <laughs> I'll, I'll tag her on the facebook when we put up on facebook cool yeah i like the vibe uh what would kind of uh like uh groove do you, would you call that like uh, a shuffle of some sort or i don't um, know i think i was trying to do james brown ah um but but they let me but dude love you know it I mean? Yeah, I just recently discovered Elvis. Like, you know, I never listened to it when I was a kid. So wow. now that I'm, I'm older, like I'm kind of growing my taste in music, you know. Man, welcome to Elvis. Yeah. That'll, that'll <laughs> be good. good That's man. good for the heart. <laughs> yeah. Well, who wants to who wants to do a thing? Still though. Uh, I'll I'll go first, you know, if y'all want to hear me like uh, sound terrible. <laughs> yeah yeah we do <laughs> go michael go it's 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 for god right yes all right well then go do it so make a noise make a joyful no noise for the lord yeah. can you hear that yes okay so a little background story is i got sick from covid it almost died and um i wrote this song because um it's, you know, kind of bringing glory to the Lord. And uh, it's kind of about how our uh, our body is like a space suit. And like, um, it, it's like a space suit and our soul is trapped in this space suit. And we're not aware of it until we die and we leave um, the space suit. And we're aware of God at that moment instantly. So it's kind of cool. My, my friend gave me the, he, he didn't write the lyrics, but he kind of gave me the inspiration for the, the lyrics. All right, so can you hear me okay? Okay, here's the intro. No, no, sorry.
Yeah, I messed up on some chords there, but you know, it was fun. Oh, that was nice, man. Yeah, what I could yeah. hear, what I could hear the lyrics is real profound, real, real yeah. good, real touching. Can you read us? Do you guys mind if I have them read? Not at all. Yeah, because I couldn't quite catch the lyrics. Yeah, we oh, got yeah. the melody. Yeah, and we got the, I think the chorus. Oh, thank you, thank you so much. I'm happy to share it. Uh, so I, I am just a spaceman. On this earth is where I roam. This spacesuit is my body, and this world is not my home. As a spaceman, I'm a traveler. The time of hand is at near to bring a message from above of the one who sent me here. This world is not my home. With God, you're not alone. When we give up this body, all things will be known that God the Father is home. When the world has lost all savor, and sin brings only pain. You were my salt and my salvation and the light that will remain. When I was weak, you were my strength. When I seemed to lost my way, you made my path straight and narrow before you took me to outer space. This world is not my home. With God, you're never alone. When we give up this body, all things will be known that God the Father is home. And the last verse is, uh, from across the universe, the Lord is drawing near. There was a silence in the heavens when the seventh seal was revealed, and the trumpet sounded loudly. The green of the earth burned like fields. Bluest waters of the ocean was mingled with blood and tears. And then the chorus, uh, this world is not my home. Uh, with God, you're not alone. When we give up this body, all things will be known. That God the Father is home. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you all Thank so much you. for That's listening. Good. Praise the Lord. Thank you. Mm. Uh, it's something about the spirit songs, you know. I mean, you're say you, the, you're singing about what what matters. Your, your priorities are right there. That's just beautiful. Ah, uh, well, who, who, who who's going to follow that? <laughs> yeah, it's a tough act to follow. I got one. It's called, uh, what's a song I wrote about 30 years ago? Uh, it's called Ignorance Ain't Bliss. <clears throat> is but a road and like a river flows sometimes it rolls on past no matter where we turn or what we have learned it slips away so fast But for all that you missed, my ignorance ain't bliss. It's just that river flowing by. Turn your head around and forget what you found and wonder why it didn't last and you slip into mainstream let go of your dreams and tell yourself it's what you really need For all that you missed, now ignorance ain't bliss. Just that river flowing by. Now 
know what's constant is change and you try to rearrange try to hold on to what's real and you struggle to get by a day at a time and let slide what you really feel and for all that you miss now ignorance ain't bliss just that river flowing by So when you can't take no more, grab hold of the shore. Pull yourself up to solid ground and pick up what you lost, whatever the cost. Don't let yourself drown And figure out what's right Get on with your life Just Don't let that current drag you down But for all that you missed now ignorance ain't bliss It's just that river flowing by Now for all that you missed Now ignorance ain't bliss Don't let that river pass you by Yeah. Nice work, Ron. That sounds yeah. amazing. I love it. Appreciate <laughs> it. Wow. Did you write that yourself? Oh, yeah. Wow. Yeah. It's beautiful lyrics. Great, great song. Appreciate writing. that. Thank you. Guitar sounded amazing, too. Everything. Hey, Ron, great. your voice is, your voice is uh, connecting with me tonight. It's a. Uh, oh, good. It's in a little better shape than it's been, I, I can admit. And that was after screaming all weekend. I played uh, two different with two different groups uh, Saturday and Sunday, about three hours one day and four the other. So I'm surprised I even have a voice, but it, apparently it does. It helps. <laughs> <laughs> when you when you play with a group, is it more uh, a little more of the shouting? Uh, yeah, it's everybody's plugged in, and <laughs> you know, as the as the time goes by, it gets a little yeah. louder and louder. I know what that yeah. is. Yeah. I know what that is. Everybody turns it up. I can't quite hear mine. Yeah. So yeah. instead of everybody turning it back, why well, it keeps getting louder and louder, but it's still a <laughs> kick in the pants. Yeah, I love it. <laughs> hey Ron, I uh I was closing my eyes for a little while and when I opened them, I saw Willie Nelson singing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you did. Yeah. Yeah, I didn't braid my hair today, but yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, nice. well, uh, Je Jeff, you look like uh, he's ready. Like, uh, he's ready. <laughs> oh, no, muted. That's still muted. Still muted. It's it's just a Zoom. It's a Zoom mute. None, none of your technology. This too shall pass. Let me see if I can un unmute. I'll ask to unmute. There, did that help? There. The, the problem I have is my screen is about two inches in, in size right now, and I can't make it bigger. You got it's the weird. Zoolander phone. It's weird. It's not the phone. It's the computer. It's oh, take, wow. oh, that, that, okay, I fixed it. It's good. Okay. Oh, yeah. I know what that is. Yeah. 
It was weird. I, it's not, I've never done that before. Anyway, um, my, my daughter used to work for, um, uh, you know, the, the military-industrial complex, shall we say, uh, you know, buying parts for making those drones, those killer drones. So anyway, uh, she got a new job. So now she's working for uh, Raytheon, so she's working for space. So she was uh, saying that she felt so much better now that she wasn't making things that killed people. And now she's, you know, putting up satellites to tell us about the weather and all that and, uh, you know, putting rockets into space or helping at least buy the parts for them at least. So anyway, I wrote a song about her previous job and all the people that make their living um, with our military and um, it's called Son of a Gun. Just recently wrote it, so this is the first time I've actually played it. So here we go. I'm the seventh son of the Secretary of the Secretary of Defense. Was born a civil servant, so do not take offense. When the military industrial complex at taxpayers' expense, just the seventh son of the Secretary of the Secretary of Defense. trillion a year for the military is budgeted and spent to protect our democracy from those we fight against our freedoms and our rights they're worth more than a few cents so what's a few bucks more for my family and friends you see this gridlock in washington and know it all makes sense Guns and NRA by votes, the lobbying's intense. Second Amendment says it's all for our self-defense. Thanks from the family of the Secretary of the Secretary of Defense. Oops. rents. You know that it may look like I'm just straddling the fence, but I'm the seventh son of the Secretary of the Secretary of Defense. I'm the seventh son of the Secretary of the Secretary of Defense. Was born a civil servant, so do not take offense. From that military industrial complex at taxpayers' expense, just the seventh son of the secretary of the secretary of defense. Nice. Great. <laughs> Beautiful, man. Very creative. I love it. <laughs> the seventh oh, son man. of the secretary of the secretary of defense. That's awesome. <laughs> little alliteration there. Good. Yeah. Good. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> oh that's great well i guess it's coming around to richard huh are you up for it richard you, you... sure i guess it's my turn um i guess a little while back uh the bands were doing uh, uh a lot of the beatles songs and i heard um in my life uh by uh, john lennon and Paul McCartney, I guess that's controversial if if they both uh, wrote it or not, but uh, I really like that song. So I tried to play it, picking it, 
and I'm working on it. So this is uh, what I have so far in my life. That's a very complicated song. Yeah. Great work. Yeah, for the pain of heart. How, how I think I've asked you this before. How much how much do you practice? Yeah. <laughs> I practice daily. <laughs> Man. Well, I, maybe there's something to that, huh? <laughs> wow. That's some you, good picking. Richard. Um, I thought like when I heard that song, I was listening to it today actually. For some reason, yeah. what a coincidence. But uh I thought they were playing on a keyboard or of some sort, like the key. Yep. It, it was when when they originally played it. They played it on the uh, the keyboard, and the the person playing it, the manager, uh, played it at a slow speed. So they what, quadrupled the speed, and it made it sound like a a harpsichord. Mm -hmm. Ah, That's the one what they used in the yeah. the final cut. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, they sped it up. It kind of had a psychedelic sound to it. Right. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> it's cool. <laughs> Oh, that's incredible. I didn't I know anybody yeah. that's ever played it on the guitar. <laughs> one of the coolest, coolest tunes. Man, you really pulled it off too. Yeah, thanks. Uh, I uh I I guess I'm up and uh I used to have a best friend that I used to go over uh, he he actually ran ceremonies, he's a Lakota guy. And uh uh, people would come from all over the country to pray with him, and uh, I, I was no exception. Uh, but we, we we became pretty good friends. And but he's he's one of these, you know how they talk about if there's such a thing as a holy man, uh, that, that that they can be kind of quirky. And one of the things about him was that he used to just love uh, who. Uh, here, I, I forgot, but uh, hang on a second. Let me, let me, let me, Jerry Springer. He used to love Jerry Springer. And he loved Jerry Springer so much that when he was very sick and it looked like he was going to die, he did pass away a few years ago. Um, one of his friends for his birthday got him on to the Jerry Springer show. And uh, he wanted, he just wanted to, see, so when he watched Jerry Springer, he'd, he'd see these guys going at each other and he'd look at me and he'd go, he'd go, can you believe we pray with these mouths? <laughs> And uh, but when he got on the show, you know, he wanted to be part of it. So at some point, I guess that he pulled down his pants. He gave a, he he showed his butt to the stage. <laughs> and uh, anyway, 
that's 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 my man Steve, and uh, I, I wrote I wrote this one for him. Um, let's see if I can remember how it goes. <laughs> Montana on a primitive cliff There ain't no internet And that's where he lives You got to be One unnatural man He goes for days without nothing to eat Don't wear no shirt Ain't got no shoes on his feet You got to be Oh, one unnatural man We come around when we get sickly and thin our prayers get answered and we think it was him You'd have to be a one unnatural man He make a circle, ask us why we were dancing Cause if a man could hide from heaven's attention He'd have to be so unnatural You ought to give yourself a shock Let's go out and join him on the rock The lightning's gonna sparkle The thunder's gonna roll And the angels in the heavens singing Go, man, go! over and there's no one around you'll be watching jerry springer with his pants half down he got to be one unnatural man he got to be Just a second. She wants to come in here and do something? Uh, yeah, she was going to go online, but... Oh, she could go on... Uh, how do we do that? Mm -hmm. uh, bring her in. Just tell her to come in. Okay. It looks like my sister-in-law is going to join us, which is very cool. A natural man. I'm, I'm logging it, see? Is she coming in? She's going to. Yes, yeah, she just went to go to all day. Oh, okay. So. Uh, can you bring in a chair? Oh, a chair. Yeah. She, she used to be a singer with a sleep at the wheel. Oh, oh really? <laughs> yeah. Uh, That's so this a is a good match. Yeah. Yeah. Well, while we're waiting for her, should we do one more? Uh, I guess it would be a. Uh, um, Michael, if you got another one, or uh, or you want to leave it at that? Oop, uh, I can't hear you, Michael. Nope, lost it. Is that just... Can't hear you. It's a sign. <laughs> <laughs> Hi. 
Are okay. you going to do a song? No, I'm just going to watch. Oh, you're just going to watch. Oh, okay. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> I'm Elizabeth. I'm George's uh, sister-in-law. That's she, right. Yes, you yeah. are. Yeah. Yeah. Welcome. Hey. And now, uh, let's see, Michael already did his song. It was so good. And now uh, Ron always has something locked and loaded. You want you, you want you want to go? Are you feeling it, Ron? Okay, looks like a freedom to There shoot. we go. All right. <clears throat> this is a little more of a up tempo tune song I wrote to nineteen eighty, so that's about forty years ago. It's a kind of a, a tired of working song. It's called Never Knew the Living. <clears throat> takes a little energy. Yeah. Now you're going to be complaining tomorrow about your voice from tonight. Nah, nah. Well, Never complain. It. All right. Just keep, just keep screaming. Just keep screaming. Oh, man. Oh. That put me, that put me in mind of a friend of mine who is going in, uh, going into transition right now, you know. He's getting ready to land the plane, if you know what I mean. Yeah, no. That just seems like something he'd say. He never complains. His dad's a, his dad's a soldier. And uh, he's a soldier, you know. That just always. He's kind of leading the way. 
showing how it's done to go into that place where we're all gonna go. And he's doing a good job of it. Well, and with with that bright note, Jeff, <laughs> it looks like you got another tune. Yeah, it's gonna be hard to follow that. But anyway, I, I, I don't think you've ever heard this song played on a banjo before. It's um, like a Rolling Stone by Bob Dylan. Nice. So we'll see how it goes. Once upon a time, you dressed so fine through the bumps of dime in your prime. Didn't you? People say, call, beware, doll. You're bound to fall. You thought they were all. Kidding you? You used to laugh about the buddy that was hanging out. Now you don't talk so loud. Now you don't seem so proud about having to be scrounging for your next meal. How does it feel? How does it feel? Be without a home. Like a complete unknown. Like a rolling stone. is lonely, but you know you only get juiced in it. Nobody's ever taught you how to live on the street, but now you're going to have to get used to it. You say you'd never compromise with the mystery trap, but now you realize He's not selling any alibis. You stare into the vacuum of his eyes and say, do you want to make a deal? How does it feel? How does it feel? Be on your own. No directions home, complete unknown, like the rolling stone. Oh, you never turned around to see the frowns of the jugglers and the clowns, and they all did tricks for you. You never understood that it ain't no good. You shouldn't let other people get your kicks for you. Wrist ride on the chrome horse with your pro mat. Carry it on his shoulder. A Siamese cat. Ain't it hard when you discover that he really wasn't where it sat. He took from you everything he could steal. How does it feel? How does it feel? Be on your own. No direction home. unknown like a rolling stone oh princess on the steeple and all the pretty people 
wrong. Drinking, drinking, thinking they got it made. Exchanging all the precious gifts. Better take your diamond ring. You better pawn it, babe. You used to be so amused. Napoleon and rags and the language that he used. Go to him now, he calls you. You can't refuse. When you got nothing, you got nothing to lose. You're invisible now. Got no secrets to conceal. How does it feel? How does it feel? Be on your own. Direction home. A complete unknown. Like a rolling stone. Yeah. What fine is a banjo number? Yeah, that was great. That's that suited you, man. That's like yeah. you, your range just right in there, right in there. Oh man, that's good. Hard to get the song and then go right to the harmonica. <laughs> no, but that that adds tension. I think I, I I don't know about you guys, but for me, I was like, okay, that puts me on the edge of my seat like a Keith Richards solo or something. <laughs> It's like, can he make it? Yeah, that's beautiful. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Uh, hey, uh, we're on the chart here uh, on the sign up sheet. We're out of tunes. Um, but uh, if anybody, I mean, we've, we're about halfway through the time. Well, usually, what happens is we just kind of wind it up when we get to this spot. But uh, if someone's got something else, oh, oh, I see a couple. Okay. We'll, we'll, we'll get Michael and then we'll come back around to Richard. It's cool. Oh, so I never performed this one. Uh, I figured out what's wrong with my mic. You're supposed to have the 48 volts turned on. Oh, it's always Phantom Power, isn't it? What's it? What's it called? So I can uh, I can put it in the log here. Oh, the song. Um, so I've never actually performed it like before, but um, I figure you know it's a safe space and it's, it's not really yes. that long. So it's called uh, "The Hills Have Eyes." Okay, cool. Yeah, I kind of changed your. Uh couple of the titles there because i changed songs that i did okay so i think i think it's right according to your uh the way your chart is but yeah i didn't do one of the songs that i'd put earlier okay okay we got it now all right and then uh, let me let me mute and let's uh, spotlight michael okay. and there we go so just you know have have mercy on me here like i've never performed it in front of anyone i recorded it but uh anyways
that's it. <laughs> but I never performed it in front of anyone, so. You're great, man. Right on. It, it really, like, it's supposed to go like. Something like Ooh, that's a good riff. Yeah. Yeah. I, I can't sing and play at the same time. I've been struggling with that, um, you know, being able to do that. So I figured I'd leave it out. You know, I don't want to make too much of a fool of myself. Oh, uh, well, read us the lyrics again. Again, uh, the, the guitar is a little loud for the voice. Yeah. Oh, okay, uh, sorry. Uh, it, it, and it worked out so nice last time when you read the lyrics, too. Yeah, yeah. it's a, a lo lonesome country highway is more than I can take from this dusty road to this long highway getting lost along the way. I got a tortured soul and a broken home just looking for escape. Lord, have mercy on my soul and forgive me of my ways. Cool. And the hills have eyes. And the hills have eyes. With this chip on my shoulder, can't seem to shake it off. I don't like taking orders. Me and the boss man seem to get cross. But my soul needs redemption. I know God can heal my heart. The Lord can save my spirit. That's the power of the cross. And the hills have eyes. And the hills have eyes. The Lord is always watching. You know you must abide. There's not an acre or a quadrant or nowhere you can hide. But if your sins are persistent and they've not been rectified, the Lord's wrath and vigilance should leave you petrified and the hills have eyes yeah that's how it goes nice nice okay next time you start a song and your voice isn't loud enough i'm gonna stop you brutally okay and unceremoniously and make you turn down that guitar so that we can hear those lyrics going at the same time so that's that's there's some power there <laughs> thank you really so much nice. yeah i've got a lot to learn <laughs> <laughs> well, that's beautiful well richard you got something for us yeah, well, Michael's been playing a couple songs that I could, the spirit got into me, so I'm going to play a Hallelujah. Oh, nice, nice, nice. Okay. Now, now, let me ask you something. Do, do you uh, do you have the uh, the original sound turned on, or do you have the capability to do that on, on, on the Zoom? I don't know how to do that. Oh, okay, we'll skip it then. It's good enough. And, and then I've got to do one, one other thing. Can we aim the camera a little more at your guitar and just see, like, how you're doing that? <laughs> oh no 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 that's too much oh, let's get your face again <laughs> all right you're okay i'm spotlighting you and i'm muting me and uh and let's have some fun okay
Gorgeous. Yeah. 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 Absolutely gorgeous song. Wow. Totally oh, rad. Play, brother. <laughs> my, my, uh, I, I'm going to contact you at some point offline and, and I'll, I'll t teach you a thing that will make it sound even better over Zoom. <laughs> okay. If, if you if you could spare me the time, oh, I'm do, I, I wouldn't be doing it for you. I'd be doing it for me. <laughs> <laughs> um, does uh, does anybody else have something that they want to throw down? If not, I'm I'm a little bit moved uh, thinking again about my my pal Varen, um, and I'll, I'll, I want to do a thing. I. I I think I played this song once a while back. Uh, the story of this song is that Microsoft was given a keynote, was going to give a keynote at a uh, uh, at a game developer conference, which is the big event, you know, of the year uh, for that community. And um, one of the guys there at Microsoft wanted me to do music for the keynote event. They were going to unveil high definition video. So they were going to do, uh, they wanted to do uh, uh, 3D. They wanted to start with like 2D graphics and show some Pong and then 3D graphics and show some first person shooter and then show HD graphics and show something fancy. So they just wanted music that started like this. It started simple and got complicated. And I said, well, can I can I put lyrics in it? And my, my buddy said, yeah, sure, you can do that, George. And I said, can I put lyrics in it that secretly try to alter the corporate ethos at Microsoft? And he said, sure. <laughs> so, uh, you know, because to me, I was always the guy who didn't really care about the technology and, and was really interested in what you do with it. While I was recording the song, Varen, this guy that I'm telling you about, that's just like I said, circling in for a landing, he called me in the middle. He said, George, you wrote a book and I'm not in it. I said, yeah, well, he said, you've got to write another book and put me in it. I said, well, what would I put about you? What would you add to the book? He says, legends and myths. And I go, legends and myths. And I start recording right where I am on the song because I was, you know, I had the song up on my computer. And right where I hit record, that's where he's that's where he stayed uh, I, I never edited it I never moved it around uh, just I just let the tape roll while while this guy Varen was telling me the story um, and here it is uh, I will share the screen Hope All right, well, legends and myths legends and myths what about them? So we go to we go to the game developers conference in Santa Clara, and Microsoft decides to throw this huge party to launch DirectX. And they give they make the mistake of giving all us game developers gak and frisbees as we enter the gate. So they start their demo of DirectX. They have us in a big theater now. They've thrown a huge party. They fed us. They let us go on all these rides. Now we're going to go see the demonstration, and the thing crashes. So suddenly, out of the audience comes a big ball of gas. It hits one of the Microsoft executives right in the side. And then another ball of gas. And then a frisbee. And then pretty soon a hundred frisbees. And all the gas. And the Microsoft executives are diving behind their computers yelling, We gave you gas! You can't do this to us!
Nice work. Thanks, thanks, thanks. Well, let's say we'll use that energy to send a little, little prayer, a little good feelings out to Varen, and uh, and that'll be sweet. All right. So you know, we always end this with a team fat high five. That was team fat singing the oi oi oi's, and it's like a regular high five, but we miss and we make a sound effect. Everybody ready? Mm -hmm. <laughs> One, two, three. <laughs> All right. <laughs> if the if the video survives, I'll post it on uh, I'll post it on uh, Facebook for us. Uh, uh, hey, have we access the video on Facebook? Uh, go to what is it called? Mid City Music Mid -City. MC. Oh, Mid City Music Gems. Uh, it, not the Gems one, but the other one. Uh, I think it's called MCCM. You know what? If you can't find it, just uh, Facebook. Just message me on Meetup or Facebook or whatever you like. Okay. Yeah, to MCCM. Is that what it is? All right. All right. Thanks, guys. Good thank night. You, All right. Thank you. Good thanks, seeing guys. everybody. Thank y'all for listening. Well. Y'all, everyone sounded great. Y'all have a great night. You too. Yeah. Good night, everyone. Thanks. I'll be well. I'll get in touch, George, later okay. at maybe you know, one of the our email. I, I I made a note. It's on my list. Okay. Great. <laughs> nice meeting you. <laughs> Bye. Okay. Bye. Bye, Elizabeth.